Absolutely. It's so easy. I don't even have to think when I pull conventional. Good morning. Back in Sacramento. I'm actually kind of tired, but we got to get after it. I'm going to sip this thing real quick. I think 6.15 for 5, man. Heavy deadlift day. I don't know what these old bones got in me, but today we find out. I don't know, man. I think first, y'all are a bunch of nerds. Not y'all that are watching, but the people around there are a bunch of nerds. Like, let's say it was, Sumo's cheating. Like, who cares? That's like Michael Johnson, for those young ones that don't know, one of the best sprinters of all time. That dude's wearing spikes on his shoes. Is he cheating? Like, that's just part of the sport to me. And I understand with the bench arch rules and everyone changing the sport. And again, my reference is the NBA. They had no three-point line. They added a three-point line. They had they did they disallowed dunking in the NBA because of like Will Will Chamberlain and stuff. Then they brought dunking back, but then they added three seconds in the key. I understand sports evolve, but like the sumo ain't it. And I understand on the last video, if you guys go check it out, shout out to Corrupted Strength for having us out. Um, a lot of the big pulls are sumo. I get it, and I am not offended at all. Y'all seem offended. Does every motherfucker that make that comment pull conventional then? Because I got pulled both. Uh, I think if you're really strong. And again, I'm, I'm not on some alpha male, sigma, Tate shit, top G, but if you're strong, I just like to train. So I train conventional right now, and I've trained sumo in the past, I've pulled 705 sumo, and now I'm gonna pull 705 conventional. I just have different goals, and I just wanna get stronger at it. I do think, if we wanna talk about hypertrophy, conventional is king. The glutes, the hammies, I got a whole nother argument with that, I wanna argue JP. I shout, I, I call out JPG coaching for a debate about the deadlift and my dumpy. Five seventy-five. That's what I just hit. And now top set six fifteen. I still don't really know. I try to train pretty monk-like, you know, but top sets get a little heavy, or they sound heavy, or a little intimidating. You get turned up a little bit, so. We'll do one set all out and then see what we can do on the drop sets or like 515 for a bunch. Mikey overshoot strikes again. It's supposed to be 605 to 625. 575 moved pretty good. But yeah, that's 615 for three. Probably an eight, eight and a half. It's supposed to be an eight to nine RPE. So, I mean, we're in it. If I hit one more rep, it would have been nine, 9.5. If I hit five, it would have been 10.5. So, I'd rather live to live, live, to lift another day. Lift, laugh, love, as we say around here. Um, just text coach, we're supposed to have like 535 for like four by five, so maybe I'll just start there, because I doubt he'll have any different directions. So I'll probably hit that. Doesn't feel good. But then if I hit five, it wouldn't have felt good. That's kind of my whole conundrum with this whole thing we're doing, you know? I hit less, and it's like, fuck, man, I'm supposed to get five. And I hit five, and this be like, well, I'm supposed to do five. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just like, for me, that uh, almost becomes demoralizing on both sides. Like I can't win. I feel like I turn one way and there's no door and then I turn the other way and there's still no door, you know? So shout out to y'all that find doors. What'd Joe tell you? So he said probably went a little heavy. Shit happens. Um, he said based off the 575 I sent him, he probably wouldn't have gone to 615, more 605. He said it's not a big deal. That he's trying to figure out, each lifter responds differently. So there's basic rules and guidelines we look for in programming, like bumpers, then how you navigate in there depends on the individual. Some like can continue to build on fatigue and some need 
the fatigue and the intensity to be matched. Some people need less intensity, some people need more volume, and you're just playing this game as you want the strength to go like this, or at least the poundage on the bar, but these other variables will dance to get it up there. And I told him deadlift wise, like, I don't know, because I haven't like chased shit down in a long time, but I used to get away with kind of moderate volume, pretty moderate intensity, so I think he's feeling that out. I had a four by five, a four thir five thirty-five. He just said drop another five to ten percent. So at four ninety-five. The two more sets before I call it. A couple RDLs, low back is feeling pretty fatigued. So it's probably just that, just tired erectors. But, you know, chugging away. Sleep tomorrow, come back Monday for heavy squats. Cheating? Cheating? Yeah. Absolutely. It's so easy. I don't even have to think when I pull conventional. No, I'm kidding. It's not cheating. Deadlifting is deadlifting. Deadlift however you want, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you want to stiff like the deadlift, go ahead. Like, whatever. If you think it's cheating, maybe it's showing your insecurities. <laughs> if you think sumo or conventional is cheating, it's like, let's just all deadlift together, you know? <laughs> That's the intro. That's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I made it to the intro. <laughs> it's popping in here, low key. Yeah, a little open Saturday. It's the second Saturday. Uh, used to be back in the day in Sacramento, like an art district thing. But it's a small art district, and different um, brands and regular businesses would open their doors and allow the artists to display their work. And then you just tour downtown. Obviously, the pandemic and some things stopped that. So I wanted to bring back the community and culture because that's literally what good company is driven by. It's community and culture. It's the people you're around and the vibes you have. Um, and so the second Saturday here at Third Street is a free open gym every every second Saturday of the month, uh, 8 a.m. to noon. And so a lot of the homies roll through that maybe live a little bit further away. Um, so we all collect together, lift heavy, music's high, vibe's high. Um, today's a good vibe for sure. A couple new faces, a couple old faces. It's good. Appreciate you all, man. We over me. Uh, stay driven, man. Uh, culture, community, we're here. Be a part of something in yourself. New videos every Monday, Thursday. Not exactly the day I wanted, but it's the day I was dealt. So uh, handle it, adjust, and move on. Pivot and move on. So we'll show up tomorrow and um, see what's happening. I'm going to go grab some food. Catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate you so much.